Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog. And today I actually have some movie news for you guys. And well, more like info. I wouldn't say it's news news, but it is an update to the movie, at least from what I can find out so far. And you guys know whenever movie news is slow or anything like that, and you know, some of the, uh, you know, websites out there and other YouTubers when they're not like reporting on anything because, you know, their sources aren't telling them anything, I try to go out and just do some digging myself and try to find what I can. And sometimes we do lean on IMDb. And, th and I've explained why in the past, you know, on IMDb, when it comes to updating, you know, the, the page and like with cast members or crew members, stuff like that, Sometimes you got to take it with a grain of salt. So, you know, feel free to do that with this episode. But typically when I see them update something on crew, it tends to be true because a lot of people working in the film industry, they're constantly updating their resumes, they're updating their INDB pages. Some of them have PR people that need that stuff updated so they can then go and get their next job and say, hey, I'm in Venom. And they're like, well, we don't know that for sure, right? And then it's like, okay, well, let's go update the IMDb and show that we're officially there. So that way that could maybe help us get a future job and stuff. And so it doesn't always happen. It's not always the case. It just is enough of the times to where I'm like, all right, let's report on it in case there's any major updates to the, you know, to the IMDb page. So our video for this one and the next episode are both from IMDb. We have some updates in the stunt department. And I typically keep an eye on the stunt teams because like in the first movie, we found out that Melora Walters was going to be in Venom 1 because of an update on the stunt team. They announced that there was going to be a stunt double doing uh, action scenes for Melora Walters and Melora wasn't listed as a cast member on the main cast page. So, you know, I made a video on it and it turned out when the movie came out, it was true. She played the homeless woman that got taken by the Life Foundation and then she busted through some glass and jumped on Eddie and then gave the symbiote to Eddie. And so she ended up being kind of a vital character in that way. And so sometimes that does happen. You'll sometimes get smaller roles and sometimes you'll get bigger roles. Uh, and so we did that recently. There was a gentleman that we mentioned recently and on a previous video here uh, that he might be in the movie and it seems like that could still be the case. And we're going to have that in the next episode too. But here, we actually have a stunt double listed for an actor that we already knew was in the movie. But then I started connecting some dots, so I could be wrong on some of this. But we'll see. You know, I'll, I'll give you my opinion. You guys tell me what you think of it. So Andrew J. Nice, or Nice, I don't know how to pronounce his last name. Uh, he was listed as the stunt double driver for Reed Scott. And we know Reed Scott from the first movie. He's Dr. Dan Lewis. He's, you know, Anne Wang's new, you know, uh, main squeeze. You know, that's her new boyfriend that she's been dating. And he's a big fan of Eddie's. So what I liked about that is they didn't make him like the stereotypical jerk. They actually made him a nice guy in the first movie. And so you kind of were like, oh, he's a nice guy. I kind of now don't want Eddie to steal Anne away because Eddie's kind of a mess, even more so now because he's got this alien symbiote. So good. Eddie can go have his relationship with his alien symbiote and still have feelings for Anne, but Anne's starting to move on and she's got this great guy in Dr. Dan Lewis. So Dan Lewis, you know, that character started to become kind of a fan favorite, you know, amongst us at least here on the channel. A lot of people are big fans of Reed Scott and what he brought to that role. So, you know, I'm excited that he's coming back for the next one, but a lot of us also feared that. We have a we have some stuff here that I'm gonna, not, you know, say that we, you know, it might, uh, might be true, might be not be true, but it's basically theories that I've been seeing in the comments. So this isn't really my theories, this is just stuff I've seen you guys say, and I'm starting to agree with it now. So if you don't want a potential spoiler for the movie, maybe now you can walk away. Again, we're just guessing, we don't know what this is, and I don't know if what I'm gonna say is true, but this was guesses you guys said. So just in case you want a clean slate from the movie, you know, feel free to walk away after, you know, right now from this video. Uh, make sure you give us a like before you do. Um, but anyone who's staying, you know, some people theorize that Dr. Dan Lewis might die in this movie uh, because, you know, hey, he's a likable character and Carnage needs to have a body count. He needs to take away people in Eddie's life. And Eddie, at the end of the first movie, he had a couple of supporting cast members live at the end. We have Anne Wang, obviously. Um, we have Dr. Dan Lewis. Um, we also have Mrs. Chen, you know, who works at the bodega. So there's a couple people in Eddie's life that are still alive that Eddie probably would want to be, you know, protected in some way. And so those are the perfect opportunities to have a character like Carnage come in and mess that up and kill characters like Mrs. Chen or Dr. Dan Lewis. Hopefully not Anne Wang. Um, and then uh, I was theorizing with our friend Eddie's mullet that what if Dr. Dan does die and that's kind of the inspiration for Anne to get the symbiote back and become She-Venom in the movie and maybe get revenge for Dan and maybe like Shriek 
kills Dan or, you know, maybe Cletus kills Dan or whatever. And maybe she takes on the she venom costume again and, and gets in a couple, you know, licks or attacks or whatever. Um, and then, you know, venom finishes it off or whatever, or maybe if it's shriek that kills Dan, maybe, or, or a goon or something, you know, we don't know. Uh, but you know, so we, a lot of theories, me and Eddie were having. So I, now that you heard some of our theories, I'd love to hear what you are, you know, what your theories are down below if you have any, because what we have here is Andrew Rice, or Andrew J. Neese, I'm sorry, uh, is the stunt driving double for Reed Scott. And we have this picture here that Reed Scott posted on his Instagram back in like November or December of last year when they were filming in, in London. And this picture was taken by Kelly Marcel, who's the writer, screenwriter of the movie. Um, and she's a su super awesome person, very talented. And uh, and so, you know, she was, you know, snapped this picture for him and he posted it up on his Instagram. And I was like, hey, that's cool. Uh, that's actually pretty neat. So if he has a, a stunt driving double, is that the car that he's going to be doing the stunt in? Because that means his character is going to be driving in some kind of car chase sequence if there's a stunt double driver. I mean, not always. You know, you could have someone just, just driving from point A to point B down the street. You could maybe need a stunt driver for that in case Reed's not available or not insured to drive the car for whatever reason. Um, but I feel like this you know, seems like more like it could be a stunt, um, especially since they're bringing in this this driver. Uh, and seeing his resume and stuff, I'm like, yeah, he could be actually uh, someone who's, you know, driving this car and spinning and doing all that stuff, especially when you look at Reed Scott's car in that photo. So it's like, all right, if that's the car Dr. Dan is driving in, that looks like it could be built for a good car chase sequence. And then we also seen, and you know, in some of those footage uh, clips of cars racing down the street and being chased and even uh, Cletus Cassidy's car, you know, spinning out. Uh, and so there is a stunt double for Cletus Cassidy named James Embry and uh, and so we have more stunt people like I said being added so we've seen those cars like, spinning out in the road and I know some people are going to go why are these names being added now when those scenes were already filmed and again it could just be now that production is starting to ramp up because after COVID a lot of movies are starting to go back into production like in the next like month or two so some of these people are, might be like hey I'm willing to go I'm ready to go back to work now and so let's update my IMDB that movie was supposed to come out now anyway I was gonna update it around this time anyway so you know could just be one of those situations where they're like, hey, let's just add some uh, crew members to this list so we can go and get our jobs or new jobs now that, you know, production and some uh, things are starting to pop back up after COVID. And I mean, COVID's still going on, obviously. So we'll see how it goes from here and how movies are made from here on out. It's going to be really weird and different for a while. So, um, so yes, yeah, so we have James Embry doing the stunt double for Woody Harrelson. We have Andrew Nice here, or Nice, doing the stunt doubles driving for Reed Scott. And like I said, after seeing that car, I'm like, Man, are we going to get a chase sequence where Dr. Dan Lewis is being chased in his car and that leads to his death? Is, does Cletus go after him and chase him in his nice red sports car? Because like I said, we saw shots of that car spinning out and turning around and cars chasing it and it chasing cars. And so I'm, I'm curious. I, I want to know because remember the first movie had that big motorcycle chase scene in it. And a lot of people really like that sequence in that movie. And so, I, I, you know, it looks like they might be bringing something like that in this movie. We've seen Eddie on the motorcycle. Even when I was on set, we saw him doing, you know, a couple little things, driving down the street on it. But I didn't really see any major stunts. I think there might have been some shot on other days. But I've seen a lot of car chase stuff on other days. So maybe there's going to be a cool car chase in this movie. And what do you think that means? Do you think it's just going to be a simple car chase, maybe one or two of them, where the cops are going after Cletus when he escapes? Um, or do you, you know, obviously Reed Scott is going to have a stunt driver. Do you think that means it's a simple thing, like driving down the street, you know, for a couple shots, you know, maybe Reed wasn't available that day? Or do you think it's something where, you know, him, the character Reed, uh, of uh, Dan Lewis, is involved somehow in this chase sequence? And do you think he might die in the movie? Um, all that stuff, all those are all my questions. I'd love to hear what your answers are down below. And as always, we'll continue our conversation down there. But yeah, this is more speculation and stuff based on some little tidbits that popped up in the, uh, you know, on the IMDb page. But I thought it was enough to warrant a video, you know, at least for this video. And then we have one more coming up right after this. I'll put them both up today. So uh, let me know your thoughts on this. And I'll keep my eye out on more IMDb stuff um, and other things. You know, I saw a couple other people added to visual effects and things like that. Still no, I didn't see any major updates to the editing department. Still don't know who the editor is on it. I think Andy Serkis is working closely with that because we saw him with footage. You know, maybe he's cutting some of the movie himself. I don't know. We'll see where it goes. It's being worked on remotely. So I'll keep an eye out on any IMDb updates and still try to bring you guys something, whether it's like accurate, you know, I'm doing the best I can. I can't say it's 100% uh, true what I'm, I'm bringing because I'm most of it is speculation, right? But what looks like is true is that Andrew is the stunt driving double for Reed Scott and James Embry is a stunt double for Woody Harrelson. So that bit of information, the thing that was the impetus for this video, that is true. And the fact that there is car chase sequence 
we already knew that because we saw some of that footage you know used when they were filming around San Francisco and stuff and maybe they filmed some of that in London too and maybe just no one got any good shots of it uh, so yeah I'm curious what do you guys think let me know down below I definitely want to hear it and I'll have another video coming up right after this so hopefully you guys like the show if you did like share subscribe all that fun stuff and I'll see you all in the future peace